Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'll show you one more exciting tutorial based on Nuke Paint Prep. In this tutorial, I will show you some cool technique for paint prep by using camera projection, paint prep and modern blazer. So this will gonna be a lot of fun. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So now we are in my system and welcome back to all of you guys. Uh, so this is Nuke version 11, the most updated version. So now let's get started. So first of all, I am already imported my footage. You can see <coughs> and it's like 1460 to 1690 frames long. So just previewing first for you guys. See, this is a complete like a drone kind of shot, which is really amazing. And in this shot, I will remove this what you can say this windows cool so now just make this workspace a little bigger for making you guys more comfortable so now workspace large viewing large viewer so now it's getting bigger right now press f on keyboard so first thing first what you have to do press s on keyboard for project settings and you guys have to down and make sure your frame range is like this and uh, full size format should be like hd 1080 so from here you have to select this hd 1080 so now all set to go for the further part okay so now what i have to do the basic part is the camera tracking so what i have to do i have to take a tab camera sorry uh, camera tracker yeah this one <clears throat> so what basically camera tracker they uh, i already have so much tutorials on this camera tracker you have to go and check those tutorials for more settings like camera tracker how work and all so link is in description just go and check okay the next thing is you have to select this camera tracker and go to the settings and the number of features you have to increase the reason behind this is you have so many details in this entire footage you have so many patches so many lights and the trees and small small details so if i increase this uh number of features of tracker markers then the tracking information will comes really nice because i already done this before so that i know so let's make it like uh 800 uh, <clears throat> then go to this camera tracker option uh, by the way you can go to settings and you can preview those features and uh, when you click it, see you can see preview uh, that how the trackers will exactly look like so just turn off and go to this camera tracker uh, the range is like input next what you have to do if you know about the camera information then you can select from like camera motion free camera camera length and all the custom presets flame anything what you have to do if you know the camera settings next thing is you have to press this track button so when you press this track and button it will completely track your entire footage which is completely 3d tracking so the nuke now computing that's 3d camera tracking data for calculating and the he will uh, sorry the nuke will uh, make a camera which completely based on this camera track this takes so much time uh, and uh, so i'm getting this fast forward in this entire f time so let's fast forward so the camera tracking completely done so now i have to press this solve button for making this camera tracking information for solve so just press solve <clears throat> so guys uh, solving is not taking so much time when you press the solve is suddenly see like this like 82 90 and it's one two three and done okay cool so when it's done it will completely look like this now you can see the error data is 0 0.88 which is pretty nice in fact it's really well tracked because whatever is uh, in uh, in one i mean like under one it is really good track but it's like 1.22 1.5 or 5.1 those are really bad tracked so now that entire tracked is really good now what i have to do i have to make so much uh, things here so just go to the last frame and uh, just zoom it slightly now i have to select some tracker points as a crown plane because my grid will attach on that exact same place because we don't have any kind of ground place here because so much trees are behind this so i'm getting this area as a ground plane so just select this 
like few markers i mean not markers is a track of markers so if you don't take it like randomly because if your ground planes are on not in exact orientation it, it it can destroy your entire output so just select this kind of all and right click and ground plane set to selected now these are getting pink so now in this tutorial this uh, track of markers are right now as a ground plane so next part is I have to link or you can link or you can uh, delink de as well so just I'm just turn off this link output option and from here I can create a camera so just press create and I have my own 3d camera okay if you press tab on keyboard you can go to this 3d view and you can see that entire output is look like uh, kind of this which is pretty nice and from here you can generate some kind of point cloud data mesh entire footage but in this footage this is completely different so just press tab again and now what I have to do press tab and scene uh, sorry has scene and I need one more scan line renderer for render this kind of footage and slightly move it I'm just getting here no like this here fine okay <clears throat> so now I have to connect this all so camera to camera object to object scene scenes to camera and I have take a M for merge node and for backgrounds connect to here <coughs> make sure this camera tracker will not uh, necessary right now to just delink and leave it like this then connect this to this merge node by pressing one so now this part is right now done now I'll show you some cool techniques because this is already 3d tracked now if you wish like in this area this much area is like a cubic shape so if you wish you can track any kind of 3d model by using that model builder node as you guys already know in this nuke is a very cool node model builder node you can track that 3d model on that exact same area and you can replace whatever you want in that way and the make sure the track if done properly then this way will work so make sure you have to concentrate in on your 3d tracking data so now i have to press by tab and take a model builder and let's connect this like camera to camera source to source and one to connect this now if you go to the first frame you can see one grid is already aligned here and now press play here so now you can see this entire area is like tracked and it's kind of a match moved really well and you can see my exact grid is stick on this area where I'm selected like this area is a ground plane see the entire footage is stick to this what you can see the grid and it's tracked really well now whatever you put in the scene it feel like it's in 3d space or is in the same scene so this is a really nice thing so now from you by using this thing this method I'm showing you some cool techniques now if you wish you can add that 3d cubic shape here and in on exactly same place so now double click on this and go to the shape default and just press a cube and just slightly like this it's fine not like this now what I have to do you have to align these two lines like this through front lines slightly like this and slightly slightly like here and this the back side slightly like this that's fine now when you go forward or backward like backward as well just click here and you can drag it to the front now it's done now when you play you can see this box is the same exactly same area like slightly here just click here to realign no sorry just click here to slightly yep it's fine so now it's see completely tracked and it's like it's match moved the basically this entire thing is match moved which is really well match moved so in this method you can now it's a 3d model from here you can export this 3d model to Maya getting textures and replace those wall anything you can want by using this method you can do uh, now the main concern of this tutorial is I want to remove uh, this 
to windows from here or you can say this all windows from here so in this tutorial i'll show only one uh, window or uh, so because it's um, i don't have lots of time so let's remove this uh, first of all you have to delete this box first so right click and revert knobs so now it's gone so next thing is like i have to align a card over here to just no need to worry about just select from here to one by one <coughs> and just press create so now like zoom it slightly and click it not here in center like this it's fine now i have to align this so just take it to like this and this one slightly like here and this one is go here and this one slightly like back so when it's aligned here you don't have to align it exact same place because it will project here so now go to the slightly back and just align it slightly like this and it's properly i think it's properly aligned uh, i think yep it's properly aligned right now so now just play once just play once now you can see this is exactly on the same place but don't think don't worry about like this place are not in the same place because when your window is visible it's coming on this exactly same place so don't worry about but if you wish you can take so much time to make this all aligned as a proper way slightly like this and by using this method you can make anything on that exact same place see now what I have to do uh, is just like this slightly I am not happier person because every time when I am doing this kind of things, I am not getting happy because I am thought that every time I am doing, it's not good, it's not good. Let's make a little more, little more. So, okay, let it be. Uh, now, just select this model builder, go to this model builder node. Uh, it's like stuck. Okay. Now, <coughs> press this bake option. So, when you press bake, you have your card on a 3D geometry. Now, you can remove this all from here, but I prefer like connect it because you can't see otherwise okay so now select this model builder what I have to do just leave it like this now the next major part is I have to clean up this area so first of all you have to choose your preferred frame I am choosing like this frame okay like um, 1620 is frame is better now I'm taking a frame hold from here double click and press this like 1620 is my frame hold and now connect this frame hold to here as my reference frame hold slightly like this and coming like this and press p on keyboard for roto paint node and connect it to here okay so now the next thing is i have to press by the way i have to don't forget to press the save option because whatever I do you have to press save every time <coughs> now double click on this roto paint and click one to connect this now it's a, like a jpeg here in 1620 frame now you have to clean up this entire area so roto paint node select this cleanup option control and <coughs> if you don't know about roto paint then uh, you have to know this about like what is roto paint i am just doing this as a roughly because <coughs> in in roto paint you have to make concentrate otherwise that guys who is looking forward today like the guys are not thinking it's not too good so you see it's just a roughly you can but you have so many patches right so nobody will notify like he's correct or not so this much and okay let's remove this one also because it's very fast test finger first it's like this and it's done okay so now press F on keyboard you can see it's pretty nice now what you have to do you have to select this like disable this one like zoom it slightly and take a rotor node here connect this as a BG select this and now what I have to do select this one and take a bezier and like a roughly mask where the area you cleaned up slightly like this and it's fine now connect it to here 
it's fine now select all this together and you have to increase a feather a little bit now it's fine okay so the next part is we have to take a copy node let's copy connect it to here here so is it and take a free melt free melt and press one so now you can see this area is cut it out so now connect this to this frame hold and you can see this entire area is now press D it's done okay so now this area is like my what you can say it's clean plate for this footage now I have to project this one on that 3d model okay so now I have to take a project 3d node now the, this is the main part like this area is really critical so you have to concentrate on this area now what I'll do I am taking a frame hold again like select ctrl C ctrl V and this frame hold is connect to this camera and this project 3d node camera will connect to this frame hold and this one will connect to this pre -mult. and this model builder will connect to the scene and the image will connect to this project 3d now entire thing is done now when you connect to this one merge one the viewer you can see this area is now cleaned up properly now the main thing press F on keyboard and um, you can play this you can see you have completely tracked and cleaned up that exact area which is really really well so <clears throat> you can see now whatever you are seeing right now that is a projection which you can see in front of you so this exactly the same thing which I did my almost two three four uh, tutorial spec but not in this way I use projection process but this time I'm using projection 3d tracking model builder for making this kind of output so hopefully you really enjoy this tutorial as I always say if you are new in this channel then don't forget to press that subscribe button and that press the bell icon for the further notifications and I will upload so many tutorials in this channel and make sure you have to press that like button so I'll see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy and bye bye but keep watching VFX world